In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use your iPad as a teleprompter. I spent so long trying to figure this out, but I finally have the exact setup that I wanted. And let me tell you guys, it works extremely well and I can't wait to show you. I'll show you my exact setup, which I'm filming this way right now. And I'll tell you everything you need to buy in order to replicate this setup on your own. So it all starts with this little device here called the Luna Display. This is one of the coolest things I've ever used. And it literally turns your iPad uh, into a full-fledged teleprompter as well as a second screen. This little thing connects to your computer and then on your computer you're going to have to download an app and on your iPad you're also going to have to download an app as well. So this is the little device. Uh, it's a USB-C connection so it should work on most laptops uh, and what you're going to do first is you're going to connect this uh, into uh, one of the plugs on your computer. So I'm going to put this right here. And guys, I actually struggled with this for a long time. Some of the ports on your computer are not going to work for this. Uh, this actually has to uh, have a, I think like video out feature or something. So this one over here works. I'm not sure about that one, it might, but I'll say that the one on the right side does not work. So if this doesn't work for you guys, make sure you test all the different plugs on your computer uh, because only some of them are going to work. So after that, you're going to go to lunadisplay.com slash start. And it's going to take you to a page like this and you know all the information is going to be here for you guys. So you can see step one is just get the Luna primary app. So they have a Windows version as well as a Mac version. Since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to click this. Second step is you're going to get the Luna secondary app uh, and this is going to be on the screen that you'd like to use as your teleprompter. So for me, it's going to be on an iPad. So I'll actually go to this website on the iPad and I'll click this or I'll get it directly from the App Store. Or if you want to use another Mac uh, as the secondary app, uh, you guys can click on this. But yeah, as you guys can see, I have the Luna Display app pulled up on my computer here after installing it. It'll take you through a few connection steps, which is pretty automatic. And you'll just have to have both your computer uh, app on as well as the app installed on your iPad. So here is my setup right now. I have my teleprompter. Uh, this is the Glide Gear TMP100. Really awesome. Definitely recommend it. I have my iPad mini right here. Uh, this will also work with other types of iPads. But for me, I prefer to use a small one because if the screen, you guys, is too big, then your eyes are going to be shifting all over the place and it's not going to look natural. It's not going to look like you're actually looking uh, directly at the camera. So yeah, I found that the iPad mini is the perfect size. Uh, and yeah, I'll put all the links to everything you need for the setup in the description below. So you guys can use those uh, links if you do want to support the channel. But yeah, once you have the two things connected, there's going to be a bunch of settings that you guys can play with. So you can change the arrangement. So basically I have the iPad, you know, on the left side of the screen. You can also change it to the right side or do a custom one. So if I click this, I can actually drag and drop to put this wherever I want. This is my main screen, which you guys are looking at right now. And then this is going to be the Luna Display slash iPad. So I can put it up here to the right below. I'm just gonna put it here for now. But yeah, it really doesn't matter which arrangement you want. Uh, you can also have it on the right if you want. And as you guys know, the teleprompter actually flips the image. So, you know, if it's just normal on the iPad as a second screen, uh, everything's going to be flipped. Right now, you guys can see that I've already flipped it using the app. Um, but if I didn't do that, everything would be upside down. So let me show you guys how to do this. And then what you're going to do now is you're going to come here to Luna Display and you're going to go to Preferences. You'll come here to Preferences like I showed you. You're going to go to Mac to iPad since, you know, I'm going from a Mac to an iPad. You, if you're using a Mac to Mac, you guys can also come here. But yeah, for this section, I'm going to click Enable Teleprompter Mode and it's going to flip that image. So let me show you what it looks like uh, if I don't uh, have that. So I'll click, unclick it. So now the desktop is flipped. I mean, it's right side up on the iPad, but it is flipped on the teleprompter. So I'll click this again and it's going to flip it. After that, you guys, I can literally just drag this over into my iPad second screen. So I'm going to drag this and it's going to show up there. So you guys can see right there. Cool. And if I want to make this say full screen or whatever. I thought this would be really great for having slideshows so that I can film things uh, while looking at the slides without having to you know, look down all the time. And you can basically come here to view slideshow. It's going to open that up and you can see the camera's right behind it. I can look directly at this uh, and then I can just basically click up and down and it's going to change the uh, slide that it's on. So yeah, really cool way 
uh, for you guys to be able to you know, reference your slides while looking directly at the camera. And on another note, if you guys do wanna do uh, Zoom calls where you're looking directly at the person you're talking to while seeing them, right? Because most of the time you're looking at your screen, not the camera, then this makes that possible as well. Of course, you're gonna have to find a way to connect your camera to your computer and I will do a guide about how to do this later on. But yeah, basically after connecting the two, you would uh, open up Zoom and you drag it over to this screen. Uh, you do your call like normal and you'd see the person's uh, image right there. There's also tons of different text-based teleprompter apps you guys can get for your iPad. This is probably the easiest way to turn it into a teleprompter, but I think a lot of you guys probably wanna figure out a way to be able to view slides or uh, images or whatever documents on your iPad while looking at your screen. And yeah, this is the best way that I found to do that. So yeah, like I mentioned, I'm gonna put all the links to all the different things you're gonna to need to have the setup in the description below. You basically need your iPad and I recommend the iPad mini. Uh, you're gonna need the Luna display, which is very affordable by the way, so definitely worth it. And you are going to want a teleprompter and the one that I have is the Glide Gear TMP100. So that's also gonna be linked down below. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful and you know, feel free to reference it at any point. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help the channel and subscribe to see more videos just like this. We do a ton of free how-to guides on this channel. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next video.